Hey, hey, I'm Siobhan, community cultivator and founder of Be Free Project. The Be Free Project podcast was created for community, sisterhood, and personal growth. Each week, you'll be inspired and motivated to do the work to show up for yourself so you too can feel fulfilled and be free. Now grab a pen and a notebook and let's get into the show. The best decision that you can make today is joining the Be Free Inner Circle at BeFreeInnerCircle.com, a community for like-minded women to find their forever friends and get accountability to do their personal growth work. Your membership includes a private, exclusive community of women who are not only showing up for themselves, but for one another. Weekly live events with me and or guest speakers, daily accountability so this way you can finally get stuff done, mentorship from yours truly, and so much more. Now, there's no long-term commitment and you can cancel at any time. However, I can guarantee the moment you join, you're going to feel a warm embrace and you're going to want to stick around. Every single member of the Be Free Inner Circle will walk away with clarity, fulfillment, and confidence because guess what? When you're around me, you're going to win. So come and grow inside the Be Free Inner Circle at BeFreeInnerCircle.com. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the Be Free Project podcast. As always, I am so, so, so happy to be in your ears once again. All right, I'm getting right to it today. This message is going to motivate you, it's going to encourage you, it's going to inspire you, it's going to be a kick in the butt that you need based on what I'm about to share. I mean, I don't have any notes. All I'm going to do is read a passage. I'm going to give my insight and we're going to get into it. So this passage that I'm about to read for you today comes from the book Acts of Faith by Ayana Vanzat. I read this book every single day with one of my great friends and we share our thoughts on it. And so when I read the passage for today, I was like, OMG, I have to do a whole podcast on this and I have to share my thoughts because I need my community to hear this. So if you've never listened to any other episode, this is the episode that you want to listen to again and again until it sinks in. You want to take notes. You're going to want to share this episode in your IG stories. You want to, you're going to want to share it with your great friends. Like girl, go listen to this right now because I, I feel so energized. I feel so fired up that in this very moment, I have to get it out of me and I have to express it. And you are about to get it just like that. All right. So I'm going to read you the passage and then I'm going to share some gems with you. And it says, we can find so many reasons to postpone doing and receiving our good. It's not the right time. If it's for me, I'll get it. I'm waiting for a sign. I'll do it later. I'll receive my rewards in heaven. I guess it's not for me. I didn't want it or need it anyway. These are just a few of the ways we convince ourselves not to follow our dreams. The belief in a hereafter paved with gold is no reason to live in poverty now. As above, so below means whatever we can have later, we can have right now. If heaven is a place prepared for kings and queens, we want to do our work on earth so we won't show up looking and acting like paupers. I need you to listen to me read this again because there's so much meat in this and I'm going to share why. We can find so many reasons to postpone doing and receiving our good. It's not the right time. If it's for me, I'll get it. I'm waiting for a sign. I'll do it later. I'll receive my rewards in heaven. I guess it's not for me. I didn't want it or need it anyway. And I'm going to stop right there. How many times have you found yourself saying those exact same things as it relates to following your dream? And guess what? I'm guilty of saying these things in my past as well. So I'm not exempt from this. However, in this season that I'm in, I am in, I am following my dreams by any means necessary. And that means that I'm not waiting for signs. I'm not saying I'm going to do something later. I'm not waiting for the right time because in this very moment, this is the right time. This is the exact moment because there's breath in my body. There is life right now inside of me that I get to live. And I am not waiting for a moment 
a sign or saying, I'll do it later. I'm waiting for my rewards in heaven. You are breathing right now. So why are you waiting for some moment? And so many women, I see this day in and day out. They're not following their dreams because they're making excuses. They're saying, oh, it's not the right time because the kids are in school or the kids are going off to college or I'm so busy at work. I mean, they can give you every reason under the sun of why they're not following their dreams. And if you're making that excuse, I want you to stop it in this very moment. And this is a thing. If you don't know how to move forward, we can talk about that. But right now, if you are saying, I didn't want it or I didn't need it anyway, you know what? That isn't a lie because everything that we desire in our heart, you want that for a reason. There's a reason that you're pursuing being a teacher. There's a reason that you had this idea to launch this side business. There's a reason that you decided to get into the relationship. There is a reason that you decided to relocate. There are reasons like there's something inside of you that yearn for whatever it was. So don't say, oh, I didn't want it or I didn't need it anyway because you didn't get it. That's okay. What are the lessons that you can learn from that, right? But don't just say, I didn't want it and don't stop pursuing your dreams because it didn't happen the way that you thought it would. Listen, I want every single listener to follow your dreams no matter what. What is a desire that's deep in your soul that you want more than anything in this world? And don't tell me that it's not the right time for it. Why not? When will it be the right time? And how do you know it's going to be the right time? Because what's going to happen is you can always find a reason not to move forward. So if you're scared, if you don't know, if you are afraid to ask for help, if you don't think that you're good enough, whatever limiting belief or lie that you're carrying, that's a different story. But let's address that versus saying, oh, I'm not ready or it's not my time. Yes, it is. We have this very moment to follow and chase our dreams. Stop making excuses, right? It is time to grow and to move forward. And this is the thing. I am someone who is following my dreams every single day. I know the vision for my life. I know the vision for my company. I know what I want. And because the desire is in me, I get to move forward. When my friend and I were discussing this passage, I said, this is why you need to be surrounded by friends who are chasing their dreams. I said, this is why you need other friends around you who are chasing their dreams. Because guess what? When you're surrounded by people who are also following their dreams, you will be inspired to show up for yourself. But if you're surrounded by people who are comfortable with being stagnant and stuck, they're busy being messy and gossiping and they're not pursuing anything outside of going to work every day and being satisfied with that. Or they go to work every day and they're complaining and they're miserable, but yet they don't do anything. If you surround yourselves with those type of people on the day-to-day basis, you will be just like them. I challenge you to surround yourself with dream chasers, surround yourself with women who are chasing their dreams and pursuing the life that they desire most. Surround yourself with positive energy. So then that way you're not saying I'll receive my rewards in heaven. No, God wants you to receive your rewards right now. You are alive and breathing. You are alive. So many people every single day, they die with their dreams. Would that be you? Are you going to die with your dream? Are you going to keep saying one day when or someday? Or are you going to pursue it now? And if you don't know how that's okay, let me guide you. Let me coach you. Let me mentor you. Because the women inside the Be Free Inner Circle, guess what? They're tracing their biggest, wildest dreams, whatever that looks like. And every day I get to cheer them on and I get to root for them like, yes, you got it. And I don't care what your mother is saying. I don't care what your partner is saying. I don't care what your friends are saying. I'm going to be in your corner cheering you on every step of the way because you deserve to pursue your dreams. You deserve to live a life that feels good inside and out. You deserve fulfillment and you deserve freedom. And so if you've ever been questioning, should I join the Be Free Inner Circle? Guess what? If you're not following your dreams, absolutely yes. If you don't have friends around you that are supportive, that are uplifting, that are also chasing their dreams, you need to be clicking the button to join the Be Free Inner Circle right now. Stop making excuses. Stop saying one day I'll do this one year I'll do this and do it now get the support you need get get the opportunity to be around like-minded women who are doing the work 
Do that. Take a chance on yourself. And I've said this several episodes ago, give it 90 days, give it three months to say, you know what? 90 days out of this year, I'm at least going to try something outside of my comfort zone. I'm afraid. I'm nervous. I don't know what it feels like to be around a lot of women who are positive. That scares me. Do it afraid. Do it with the butterflies in your stomach. Stop second guessing it and trust it. Trust me enough that I'm going to support you and provide this amazing community so that you can follow your dreams. So you're not stuck in a nine to five that you're miserable at in friendships that are sucking the life out of you. You need to be clicking the button to the Be Free Inner Circle ASAP at BeFreeInnerCircle.com because guess what? The women are growing, they're flourishing, they're building these amazing friendships and they're pursuing their dreams. And even when they don't know, they're saying, Siobhan, I don't know, and I get to coach them through it. You're missing out. You're missing out on life just doing the same thing day after day after day. This passage is hit me like a ton of bricks. And I said, you know what? I got to get on this mic and I have to share this with my community. So if you are inspired by this message, don't just listen to me week after week and get an emotional high. Become a member of the Be Free Inner Circle and let me support you on your journey. You can hear the passion in my voice because I truly love the work that I get to do. And I love that I'm able to make an impact with women all over the world. All right? And so... Thank you for listening. I don't have a journal prompt this week. I don't have an affirmation. I said, I am getting on this mic and I'm just going to share what's on my heart. You know what? The action step for this week is to invest in the Be Free Inner Circle. That is your action step. And when you commit, it will be a warm embrace of support and love. And we cannot wait to see you in there. And again, that website is BeFreeInnerCircle.com. All right, so now I want to shout out my coffee giver of the week, which is Latanya Franklin, who is also a member of the Be Free Inner Circle. And she says, thank you for showing up for yourself and your business because it is truly, truly motivating me to show up for myself. Enjoy your coffee. And while we are states away, I consider you my BFF. And so I love that, Latanya. I, I'm i so glad. And I've watched Latanya blossom and flourish in such a beautiful way that she's now opening up her own business and just doing so many amazing things. Anywho, I'm so grateful for the coffee that everyone is supporting week after week after week. And I just want to say thank you. And if you are inspired by any episode that I share, any words, if you're encouraged, if you're motivated and you're inspired, treat me to a cup of coffee. A minimum, I believe, is five bucks and you can buy multiple cups of coffee as you choose. But thank you in advance. But again, if my work is helping you on your personal growth journey, support me by treating me to coffee. Don't forget every single Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, I go live on IG on my personal page, Siobhan Sudbury. Come hang out with me on your lunch break. You can also catch the replay if you can't catch me live. But if you can catch me live, come hang out with me. I would love to see it. Again, subscribe to the podcast, rate it five stars, leave a two sentence review, letting me know, help me get the word out by sharing it on social media. Make sure you tag me so I can see it. You can text your friends, say, girl, go listen to this today. It is for us. Until next time, girl, be free. Hi, my name is Sonia and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. And I love being a member of the Be Free Inner Circle because of the camaraderie among the members. It's an amazing place for women to share their dreams and goals and receive nothing but encouragement from other members. I also enjoy the book club and monthly chat where we share and hold each other accountable for our goals. If you're longing for sisterhood, this is the group for you.